I love answering questions on chemistry, science and life. And if you write a question in the comment section, I might make a video about your question. This one comes from Jason. What is the next potential breakthrough in chemistry? The difficult thing about this is it really depends who you ask. I've seen articles like this before and very simply, if you ask 10 different chemists, they'll give you 10 completely different answers. Those answers won't even make sense to probably the other nine chemists. The problem is that for any science, they get divided into sub-disciplines. So chemistry is roughly divided into physical, organic and inorganic chemistry. You know, those three disciplines can't really talk to each other very easily. Then organic chemistry might be divided into physical organic chemistry and synthesis and so on and so on. And even though we're all chemists, we have a hard time understanding what those people just down the corridor are doing. Big breakthroughs we've had recently, of course, are graphene nanotubes, the uh, nanoparticles, these completely new materials that are now exploding. They're going to revolutionize the 21st century in the way that plastics did for the 20th century. But in terms of the next breakthrough, the one that the world is waiting for, even though they don't know they're waiting for it, and we need probably more than anything else, is a water-splitting catalyst. On the horizon now is the hydrogen economy. So this is where we can take renewable energy like solar energy, uh, wind energy, and we could also take nuclear power and use that energy to split water and produce hydrogen. And the hydrogen will store that energy. Then we can ship that energy around the world or we can keep it for when our wind power or our solar power isn't working. And then we can generate electricity later. One of the reasons that the hydrogen economy is absolutely going to come, of course we need it to defeat climate change, but the biggest point here is once you can generate hydrogen somewhere and then ship it around the world, people can get rich off of that. And of course they can buy and sell futures and options and all that kind of thing. And once bankers start getting rich, things start getting done. We already have a catalyst, platinum, for turning hydrogen into electricity. And we have a lot of chemists working on cheaper versions of that, especially right here at Kyushu University, for example. But what we really need is to be able to split up that water in the first place. Now, of course, we can split up water with electricity. I hope you've seen an experiment like that at school, but we waste a lot of energy as we are doing that. It's something called an overpotential. And if we can create a good catalyst, then we can really stop wasting that extra energy and we can make that whole process efficient enough to make it a genuinely feasible viable way of producing hydrogen. But we seem to be a long way away from that. If we can produce a genuinely efficient and affordable uh, catalyst for water splitting, then the hydrogen economy will arrive very quickly and we need it quickly. So that's my vote. If we get that water splitting, then we'll be on our way. Don't forget, if you have a question of your own, just write it down there in the comment section. And while you're about it, why not hit the like button and subscribe too. See you next time.